Welcome to Academic Gain Tutorials. In this video, we will look into the differences between coated and uncoated cutting tool in metal cutting. Cutting tool is a part and parcel in every conventional machining process. Tool material and geometry are two active parameters that influence process capability and machinability. In order to harness most of the intended properties, Tools are sometimes coated with suitable material so that the substrate material provides few properties and the coating material provides rest of the intended properties, irrespective of presence or absence of coating. The tool material provides necessary mechanical strength during metal cutting. So, let's look into the basic differences between coated and uncoated cutting tool in a tabular form. Difference number 1 during machining with a coated tool, the coating material comes in physical contact with the workpiece material, whereas, during machining with an uncoated tool, the tool material comes in physical contact with the workpiece material. Number 2, a coated tool typically offers extended tool life, whereas, uncoated tools usually have lower tool life. Number 3, presence of coating on the tool substrate can reduce the rate of tool wear, adhesion, abrasion, oxidation etc., whereas, uncoated tools are prone to various wares. Number 4, coated tools are usually expensive, whereas, for same material, dimension and feature, an uncoated tool is cheaper. Number 5, very less tool changing is required as each tool offers long life. So the idle time associated with tool replacement is also less, whereas, as each uncoated tool has comparatively shorter tool life so frequent tool changing is required. Accordingly, associated idle time is also high. Number 6, a coated tool cannot be resharpened easily once it is worn out, whereas, the biggest benefit of uncoated tool is that it can be resharpened easily by grinding to reuse the worn out tools. Number 7, in case of coated tool, some coating materials help improving lubricity. That is, it reduces sliding friction between flowing chip and rake surface of the tool, whereas, for same workpiece material and cutting environment, coefficient of friction between chip and rake surface of the tool is usually higher for uncoated tool. Number 8, in case of coated tool, due to low coefficient of friction, the rate of heat generation during machining is also less, whereas, for the same workpiece material and process parameters, the rate of heat generation is comparatively higher for uncoated tool. Number 9, coating can also restrict the rate of heat conduction into the tool substrate. This, in turn, discourages plastic deformation of the cutting edge caused by high cutting temperature, whereas, edges of the uncoated tools are susceptible to plastic deformation as the rate of heat conduction is not restricted. Number 10, coated tools enable usage of high velocity, feed and depth of cut. So such tools offer high material removal rate, whereas, high velocity, feed and depth of cut cannot be used with uncoated tool due to the inherent risk of accelerated wear and plastic deformation. Number 11, coated tools can also offer high toughness, which restricts catastrophic breakage of the edges, whereas, uncoated tools usually have low toughness, and thus such tools are vulnerable to catastrophic breakage. Number 12. Coating can also improve fatigue resistance, so same tool can be used continuously for a longer duration, whereas, uncoated tools typically have low fatigue life. And, difference number 13, proper coating material also discourages built-up edge formation on the edges of the tool, whereas, at high temperature and mismatched compatibility, built-up edge formation on uncoated tool is a common incident, 